If you've ever wondered what children's book awards you should be entering your beautiful children's book into and whether or not it's actually worth it, then this video is most definitely for you. This one might be a bit controversial, but it is my goal to always be completely honest with you. Hi there, I'm Evie, an award-winning children's author and ghostwriter over on eviejones.com and the creator of Children's Book University. I create videos specifically for children's authors, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss my weekly videos. In this video, I'm going to share with you what a children's book award is, a very candid look at what a book award can and cannot do for your children's book, how to choose the best ones for your children's book, and finally, what you will want to look out for and stay away from. I have won a number of different awards from awards for the illustrations in my books to poetry awards for the poetry in my books, all the way to awards where books were judged in its entirety. But what is a book award? A book award is usually an annual recognition of exceptional works within the literary world. Books are entered into different categories such as genres like poetry, biographies, and children's books, as well as specific elements or components of a book such as illustrations. Some of these awards are absolutely free, while others require an entry fee, usually per category you enroll your book into. Depending on the award, books may be entered or nominated via the publisher directly, or by the authors themselves. Some require that the book has been published less than a year ago, while others are open to older books as well. Each award then has a judging panel whose members read and consider the submitted books and then announce the long lists, finalists, and winners for each category. Prizes all depend on the award. Those can be monetary prizes all the way to service prizes such as mentions in a prestigious publication as well as marketing support and even potential representation by an agent. Each book is judged among books in the same category. So if you were to enter your children's book, you would compete only with other children's books, not with any other genres. For children's books specifically, many awards now also offer a number of different subcategories such as graphic novels, picture books, and young adult. Some of the bigger awards have actual in-person award ceremonies. Others simply recognize their winner online. There are hundreds of different book awards out there, each with their own submission guidelines, requirements, and deadlines. And most select their winners once a year. And so I often get asked if it is worth it to enter your book into contests and awards. So I wanted to go ahead and really share my thoughts and personal findings with you. My hope is that you'll be able to make an informed decision on whether or not entering such an award or contest makes sense for you and your children's book and how and if you can benefit from holding an award-winning title. So let's look at what a book award can and cannot do for your children's book. Now, when it comes to the purpose, advantages, and disadvantages of book awards and contests, I like to mention that opinions often differ here from person to person. So what follows is very much based on my own opinion and my own experiences. Despite what many book award websites claim, there are three things I believe winning an award won't do for you. Again, based on my own experiences and my own personal opinion. Number one, winning an award most likely will not increase your book sales. While such a win could potentially give you a temporary spike in your sales, that's usually mostly due to you sharing your win with your friends and family on social media. Number two, winning an award usually does not capture the attention of traditional publishing houses. There are simply way too many awards and publishers usually don't have the time to go through all of them. And number three, winning an award usually will not make you known throughout the author world. Most authors that enter awards are mostly interested in their own books. So while they might go over the list of the winning books, it's rather rare that they then also go out and purchase any of these books. There are exceptions, of course, but these are the observations I've made over the years, especially especially when it comes to children's books. So if it doesn't increase your book sales, why then should or might we still consider submitting our beautiful work anyway? 
Here the answer really depends on what you, the author, want to get out of this for yourself and your book. What are your major reasons for entering your book into such an award? There are three main things winning such a contest or being awarded a certain title or status will or can do for you. And these are also the reasons why I myself still enter certain books of mine into awards. Reason one for submitting your book is that it gives your book a certain level of credibility. This, however, depends very much on the award you choose to enter, meaning how well known and accepted it is within the author community. Number two for submitting your book is that it will allow you to showcase your win, which in turn will set you apart from other fellow children's authors. And reason three for submitting your book is that it may bring about recognition as well as validation. It's always nice to be recognized for all our hard work we are putting into our beautiful books. For better or worse, people love social proof. So winning such an award validates our work by an unbiased outside source, letting others know that it isn't just us who think that our book has the potential to rock little one's world. Now you may have noticed that I mentioned that I enter only certain books of mine into awards. While I have written and ghostwritten more than 50 children's books, I enter only a select few into awards and contests. That doesn't mean I don't love and believe in my other books. Just like everyone else, however, I have a set budget set aside for things like this that I try to stick to. And so when it comes to entering your own book, one of the best advice I can give you here is to also set a budget for yourself and then to stick to that. Given that there are so many different book awards out there, how should we then choose the right children's book award? So let's look at that next. In my book, How to Self-Publish a Children's Book, I worked my way through the entire interwebs and put together a list of awards and contests specifically for children's books. So I'll be sure to link to it in the description below. And while this greatly narrows down our choices, how should we decide what awards to choose? Because there are quite a few awards out there, there are six questions I always ask myself before entering any book award. Question one that I always ask myself is, what audience does the award site cater to? Here it is important to mention that most of these contests and award sites are being visited and frequented only or mostly by other authors. The best and most beneficial ones, however, are being used as a source of pulling relevant and reputable books for other sites. Just like we viewers look at the Oscars and Grammy Awards to see what movies or songs are worth watching or listening to, so too should the award function for our book. The Moms Choice Awards audience, for example, isn't just other authors, but thousands of mom bloggers and sites that are looking to feature the best newest and already vetted items in a number of different categories. Question two that I always ask myself is, does this award offer a children's book category? Many of such award and contest sites actually do not offer a children's book category. If that's the case, submitting our work here wouldn't be a good use of our time and resources. Question three I look at is what other books have previously participated and have been given this award? This is a great criteria to pay attention to. Here we want to look for professional looking work of others because we are what we associate ourselves with, right? So looking at an award list of previous winners is a great way to do so. Question four I ask myself is who is this award associated with or sponsored by? Being able to point to a great sponsor that is backing an award is always a fantastic plus and credibility booster. The IRDA award, for example, is being sponsored by giants such as Amazon, Ingram Spark, and Kirkus Reviews, and had its winners for 2018 announced at the BookCon in New York City, which I was so very lucky to attend as a recipient. Question five I ask myself is, how reputable is this book award? Does the award's title speak to me? Besides its own website, who else mentions this award? Are there other sites that cover it? Is it mentioned on any other credible lists of awards? And question six I always ask myself is, does the award name or award title make any reference to being for indie books or self-published books? This last question is probably a very controversial one and depends entirely on your very own opinion and your own goals for your book. 
I personally like to enter contests that include all sorts of different books, meaning self-published books, hybrid books, as well as traditionally published books. And the reason why is that if this contest or this award has traditionally published entries as well, it gives it even more weight, even more credibility within the entire publishing world. So I often like to stay away from any awards that have the words indie or self-published in it, because that would already imply that they don't cover traditionally published books. That being said, I make that decision on a case-by-case -case basis because the IRDA award I mentioned earlier does have the word indie in it. But here I decided to disregard this because this particular award had such great benefits that came along with it, such as an in-person award ceremony in New York City. As long as you are clear on your goals and why you're entering any given award, you should now have some helpful guidelines that you can base your decisions on when it comes to choosing what awards and contests to enter. Now, I mentioned earlier that winning an award can help us with our credibility as children's authors. So let's look at how we can leverage such a win. What are some great places to display our amazing win? As an award-winning children's book author, you will want to make sure to display it proudly. So let's look at just a few ideas on how to leverage your beautiful win. First, you should absolutely add your newly won title to your Amazon author profile. So this one right here is one of my own. And the first sentence reads, German Vietnamese born children's book author Evie Jones is a USA Today and Wall Street Journal bestselling and award winning writer and the founder of Children's Book University. So I made sure to mention this badge of honor in the very first sentence of my bio. And if you need extra help with the writing of your very own author bio, be sure to watch my separate video on just that. I will add it to the description below. Second, you will want to weave it into your book description. I gave a number of examples of this weaving technique of mine in my separate video on how to write your own perfect book description. So I will make sure to include the link to it in the description below. So in this example right here, I wrote, help your little ones discover the magic of thinking big and being brave with this Mom's Choice Awards Gold award-winning book by USA Today and Wall Street Journal best-selling author Evie Jones. So again, I made sure to mention the one award right away in this description. Third, you will want to make sure to add it to your about page on your website if you have one. Here again is an example of mine, which looks very similar to my Amazon bio, but because it is my website, it's quite a bit longer, but the first part is very much the same. If you don't have a website yet and would like to learn about a completely free option, I have added a link to a separate video for you in the description below. And fourth, you will want to include and share your win wherever else you mention that you are a children's author. This could include your LinkedIn profile, Instagram, Facebook, or Goodreads, for example. This right here is my Instagram profile where I mentioned that I'm an award-winning children's author. You've worked so very hard for this, so be sure to toot your well-deserving horn on your regular social media platforms by sharing your beautiful news about your win. Your friends and family love and support you, so be sure to share this amazing news with them. Now, with all this being said, I felt the need to share with you what you will want to look out for and stay away from when you are researching different awards to enroll your children's book into. So here are the three main things you will want to stay away from. Number one, being reached out to. I have seen a number of times now where random people set up an award and then share it on social media, often within Facebook groups. Just like in my video where I talk and warn about publishers that approach you as the author, I urge you to stay away from any award organizers that come and approach you. Usually legitimate awards that have a reputable name won't do that. They won't come into Facebook groups like that to share about their award opportunities. Number two, more often than not, you will also want to steer clear from any paid awards that occur more than once a year. And that's because most legitimate awards usually hold their contests once a year only. There are exceptions, of course, but if it is a smaller paid award that is not widely known, I'd suggest you don't enter your book. 
And finally, number three, you will want to stay away from new paid awards that don't have any previous lists of winners. These pop up all over the place all the time. So again, be sure to do your research based on the six questions I shared with you at the beginning of this video. And this holds especially true if it is a paid award. I so hope you found this video helpful. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. It really encourages me to keep making videos for you just like this one. And please remember, be sure to celebrate your beautiful children's book, my friend, because if you don't take the time to truly celebrate what we've accomplished this far, we may just miss the beauty of this amazing journey. Bye.